Hi everyone, let's begin. I would like to share one of the very, very important paper, uh, Taxonomy of Research Gaps. Usually our research scholars as well as our uh, faculty members also, those are the researchers, they are trying to find out how we have to create gap and how we have to report gap and what kind of, what are the categories of the gap. Uh, research gaps. So here is identifying and defining the seven research gaps and it is a very good paper that is already published. So I have gone through this paper. So this paper it is showing research on the development of the research gap. And here is it has been written by Dr. Anthony Miles and here is you can see very very important things over here. Uh, you can see here in the introduction, he has given types of research gaps and here is he had given very beautifully showcasing in the form of a figure, uh, seven types of research gaps. And here is theoretical after in this section, we can see here theoretical foundations and development. And here is he had well defined here in their model, they identified and described five types of research gaps, uh, gaps types. One is population on the basis of population, on the basis of intervention, on the basis of comparison and on the basis of outcomes. And last one on the basis of setting. And uh, here is after this part, when we uh, move ahead, then we can see here, their framework of research gap consisted of six gaps, right? As per the uh, this author, and uh, I, he had given this reference also, Muller, and uh, A is contract, contradictory evidences gap, knowledge void gaps, action knowledge conflict gap, methodological gap, and uh, evaluation void gap. And last one is theory application void gap. And uh, after this, after this complete literature review, he had already defined this one is the seven core research gaps, right? As per the 2000 paper, this was published in 2017. And uh, we can see here evidence gap, knowledge gap, practical knowledge conflict gap, methodological gap, empirical gap, theoretical gap and population gap. So we can see here, this is the figure. This is the seven types of research gaps. So I think uh, researchers should also go through this evidence gap, knowledge gap, practical knowledge gap, method methodology gap, empirical gap, theoretical gap, and population gap. Right, it starts from, right, all uh, types of gap you can report in your research and you can find out on the basis of this gap, you can go for further study. Right, so this is a good paper. So I just want to share with you what is population ga gap and is it, it is freely available right on the Google Scholar. Simply you have to type and after that PDF you can download. And here is a uh, well-defined, he had given all these gaps definition also, research gap type like evidence gap. And here is, you can see here, results from studies allow for conclusion in their own right, but are contradictory when examined from a more abstract point of view. But when we talk about the knowledge gap, it is desired research finding do not exist. And when we talk about practical knowledge gap, Professional behavior or practice deviate from research findings or are not covered by research. And methodological gap, a various, uh, this one is the a variation of the research methods. It's necessary to generate new insights or to avoid distorted findings. Then we come to the empirical gaps and uh, research findings or propositions need to be evaluated or empirically verified. And theoretical gap, when we talk about theory should be applied to certain research issues to generate new insights. And there is lack of theory, there's a gap exist. And the last one is the population gap and research regarding the population that is not adequately represented or under research in the evidence base or prior research. 
So we can see here, I mean, all these things, uh, strategy example and write-ups has been given, how you have to uh, write all these kinds of gap that is very well mentioned here, evidence gap, knowledge gap, practical knowledge gap, methodological gap, empirical gap, all types of theoretical gap, as well as population gap. So writing up the research gap in a research proposal, it is the well explained over here. And uh, when after that you have to download this paper and you have to go through this and after that, uh, on the basis of this paper, you can, uh, you, you can give this reference also and you can mention research gaps. So I'm sure this paper would be very helpful to you. And uh, this video will be very helpful to you. Uh, thank you and keep watching.